Oh, we're live! Hey, what's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Finding Secrets. Jen with Gutter Finding Secrets. Tell them hi. 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 <laughs> so, we're here today to announce the uh, the official launch of our brand new product over on GutterFightingSecrets.com. Core Commando Combative. So, this is Fairburn's Commando Gutter Fighting. This is what was taught to elite commando units going overseas to fight Germans during World War II. The real McCoy, guys. Um, Jen has been my manager, my producer, my talent scout, uh, a lot of various things here with this program, with this product, and we are super thrilled to finally deploy it yes. to the website. It's taken some time. It's been a while, and yeah. we, we were working on it out west. We've been working on it back here on the east coast. Mm -hmm. Why did we come up with this? Why did we put this together and spend so much time and energy into this one product? So we can pass along information to normal people on the streets who are the ones that are getting attacked clearly <laughs> so as you guys know we live in new york and uh the surrounding areas as well and it's a dangerous fucking place now we noticed when we were out west we spent a lot of time this winter out west same deal over there you got tweakers oh, yeah. you got people getting out of their car people Just are fighting. unhinged they are, they are they are they want to fight yeah they, they don't want care to fight like they're looking for a fight uh, you know, and sometimes that's the thing is like you don't know who you're gonna run across, and they'll they'll corner you. But what do you do when you're backed up against the they'll corner? They'll corner you, and they'll pull um, out a razor. Or yeah. They don't. They just don't care. They don't care. And you know, a lot of the times for good reason because they know they probably won't get caught. Correct. Or even if they get caught in the city, they'll be released. It doesn't matter. They know this. Criminals yeah. know this, and it, they're emboldened these days. So mm -hmm. this is why we launched such a brutal product. Yeah. Um, I've actually had people come up to me, people who are close to me, and they're, they're concerned. Yeah. They're like, well, this is like taking it a step too far. This is a little bit brutal, man. <laughs> and to which I reply, good. I hope it is, and I wish I could have made it more brutal, but I physically can't. Like, <laughs> you can't get more brutal than commando, kill the German yeah, techniques. But, that's true. you know, if I could, I would, because I'm sick of seeing good people get victimized. And right. as you guys know, like the Asian community right now, People are getting right now. It's been been yeah been, for the yeah. past couple of years. People yeah. are getting killed. People are getting hurt. Uh, Slashings. All the innocent time. people, right? Innocent people it's not like the, the yakuza and like they're fighting each other. No, it's right. innocent grandmothers, innocent yeah. you know people just getting attacked for no reason. No reason. Which is another reason why I'm so happy with this system is because it's designed for people who are a little bit smaller, like Jen. Yeah, right. it's designed for mm -hmm. people who are not in commando fighting shape. Right. We can't all get out there and run five miles and do yeah. a thousand push-ups every day. Or people who don't have time to take a class, right? Yeah. Like the commitment of it, like there's other obligations that you have to do and you might not find the time, but you can find one hour. It's know? taken me a long time to get to the point where I feel like I've got a very solid grasp on many martial arts. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that overnight. I did that through... Years and years and years and years and years of nonstop training. Gutter fighting was never like that. Gutter fighting is the one thing that you can take a week-long course in and you know it. Right. You don't need to even take a week-long course in it because Fairburn designed this stuff, again, for girls her size. Right. French women that were coming and learning this stuff in a month or two of OSS training and then being sent back behind enemy lines. They maybe had seven hours total, total, their whole time at OSS training of combatives. But how were they, they, they then able to go be confronted by a Gestapo officer? Papers, please. Oh, I see you might have some sketchy stuff. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Like Jason Bourne and they're out. And right. that stuff actually happened. It's not stories. Right. There's actual legit accounts. In fact, one of the guys who taught me had a friend, an old guy. And uh, he was probably in his 80s at the time that this happened. Mm. And he had learned... Commando gutter fighting during World War II. Okay, Canadian guy. He was accosted on the street. Okay, he literally had a cane and everything. He was accosted on the street by two guys trying to get his money. Mm -hmm. One guy pulled out a knife. Now, the guy said the next thing he knew, one guy's shoulder was dislocated and the other guy was laying on the street pissing himself. Wow. <laughs> and he said, and this is the guy telling me the story, Bill Wolf. All right, mm -hmm. you guys know Bill Wolf, gutter fighting legend. Right. So he said, he asked the guy, like, well, how did you do it, Alfred? He said, 
I don't know. It just comes back to you, Bill. <laughs> it does. I mean, this stuff is that it, it's that easy to learn, and it's that easy to keep inside your head. It's not like jujitsu. Well, what do I do now? Kimura, kilaka, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. No, That's it's very much about technique. It's this about technique. It's about timing. Yes. This is about just brute, like brute force, force. Yeah. Yeah. and like, where to land the force. Exactly. And yeah. once you know very the targeting simple. zones, once you know the techniques mm -hmm. and ingrain them into your muscle memory, yeah. that's it. You have it. All right. Yeah. And you could be eighty years old walking down the freaking street right. and get accosted with a cane. Yeah. And the next thing you know, these two guys are laying on the street, right? Yeah. This is no joke. These are legit stories. And there's, yeah. there's many more stories like that out there about gutter fighting. Yeah. And they will pick criminals, will pick people who they think look vulnerable. They're going to pick a soft target. Of course. They're not going to pick me. They're not going to pick you. No, but they might pick me. They might pick her. And I feel sorry for them if they do because right. we've been teaching her gutter <laughs> fighting and training her like a ninja. And uh, you guys will see. We'll put uh, some stories up there on our Instagram every now and hey. again when I surprise her. Yeah. <laughs> And the next thing I know, it's, oh, no, I'm getting thrown somewhere. Yes, yeah, so. I'm always, like, with the hands or, like, moving, like, quickly. It's uh, it's not something you have to think about. And this is exactly what the program is about. And we're going to give you the techniques and we're going to give you the methodology to train them on your own. You don't need to rely on a partner. It's none of that. This is designed to turn you in to a killing machine. Now, when I say a killing machine, that sounds very violent. It sounds very bad. Like, can I even say that? I don't care. Uh, this is exactly what it was designed to do, all right? This is for commandos. This is for people going behind enemy lines to fight hand-to-hand, -hand, Lord forbid, and have to use it and end the enemy, right? Yeah. Um, and it's it's a little bit taboo, and you don't hear a lot of civilian instructors telling people this. No, not at all. No, because they're worried about their own shit, right? right well, right. that's why we put disclaimers on Yes, shit. like, not responsible. Yeah, we're not responsible for anything that you do or don't yes. do or misuse or use or whatever, all right? We, right. We're very careful to do put our disclaimers out there. However, <laughs> uh, I want to be serious and I want to be uh, honest with you guys mm -hmm. is that these techniques are very brutal. They're very straightforward. Got that very right. effective. And if you and really want to learn how to defend like yourself that. with minimal yeah, training, minimal um, experience, and even minimal physical conditioning. Yeah. Like, if you're fat, this works for you. If you're small, this right. works for you. If you're skinny, right. this works for you. And right. if you're... If you are mobile, it works. <laughs> Honestly, even if you're in a wheelchair, like, you can still tiger claw someone in the face if it comes That's that true. close. That's all right? true. And this is the brilliance of this system is it, the, the human body is the human body. Once you learn a few simple techniques and remember how to execute them, you're going to be able to defend yourself, all right? And I don't want to give you any illusions that you can fight Chuck Norris with this stuff <laughs> because I think he's pretty old now, but he'll still probably kick a lot of ass. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter, guys. Um, this is for that last-ditch effort that, hey, I'm, I'm going, my Glock runs dry, yeah. and for whatever reason, I've still got targets coming at me, right? Yeah. I'm... I had, I'm overseas. It, like, I had to leave my Glock behind, right? Yeah, yeah I drop it. It mm -hmm. falls out of the fucking holster, and I'm mm -hmm. running for my life, and then I get cornered. Right. All right? I don't have my commando blade on me. I don't right. have any options except my hands. Just hands. Well, what do you do then? All right? right? Or Lord forbid, you're in a situation, mm -hmm. prison, something like that. Right. How do you defend yourself? Right. Or just at a party. Yeah. And you're like cornered, you know, and then it shit happens. just gets out of hand at a bar. You know, these little situations, they just escalate like that. Look, I'm a CCW too. I get it. Yeah. All right. But you can't carry your, your weapon with you in the bar if you're drinking. And yeah. it's, that's it, guys. There's times and places where you're not going to have the ability to draw down and pull your, pull your weapon out. Right. And you just shouldn't be reliant on anything. That's you know. not how a warrior operates. Correct. It's not. And, you know, another thing is you don't know who you're running into. Mm -hmm. You just yeah. don't. I mean, somebody could be at their last wits. They're freaking, they can't afford to pay their rent. Their right. girl just left them. Yeah. This and that happened to them. Right. And they say, fuck it. I don't care if I go to prison. Right. They right. might not care if they die. They, they don't. Like, they death might, might be a better it thing might. for them. It you might. know? So you've got to be able to defend yourself against someone with nothing to lose. And guys, that's right. I, look, I've been there, I've done it. It's not as easy as it might sound or look. No, because they're hopped up on they don't care. adrenaline. They don't care. We need to take them out. We need to take them out quickly. Right. All right. And we need to know how to do that by shutting down their central nervous system. Right. Not relying on this Krav Maga. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. All right. You could punch them all you want. It, it, it's hit or miss if it's going to work. Right. 
uh, I can tell you I punched a lot of people and not many of them have dropped down like in the movies, right? Right, right. But I can tell you that if you strike and chop in the right places mm -hmm. and do the right techniques at the right times, mm -hmm. they're going to go down. Yeah. And yeah. this is what we're going to be showing you over at um, GunnerFightingSecrets.com, Core Commando Combatives. This is the legit, real McCoy stuff, everything that commandos would have learned to go ahead and kill Germans. And now you can learn it too. Go ahead, protect yourself, protect your family, protect your loved ones, and honestly, protect your country. Because that could be coming too. Right. We don't know where this country is headed towards and we have to prepare, right? If we are prepared, we can come back fighting. So. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Please remember until next time, guys, that you were your first and last line of defense. Thank you in advance for your purchase. And thank you for taking this stuff seriously. Cheers.